Hello! In this video I will set up Epson EcoTank series printer and connect it to Wi-Fi network. I will show the following in this video and for the full product detailed review check the video in the upper right corner of the screen. First, I prepare the printer for setup by removing all blue tapes around the printer. Scan the QR code on the hard copy manuals to download the Epson Smart App for setup. I powered the printer in this video for the first time. Download the Epson Smart Panel App and follow the steps. This setup is similar to other L-series EcoTank printers, find the video about 3200 series models in the upper right corner of the screen. I set up a new product, the mobile app displays the manuals. The mobile app displays the instructions to fill up the inks into the printer. Five ink bottles are in the box, as one black is extra. It takes about a minute that the bottle gets empty. I speed up some parts of the video not to make the video too long. The printer has been filled up with the ink and now I start the initialization, which will take quite some time to complete. About 12 minutes. During this time I will connect the printer to my local Wi-Fi network. The printer is now a hotspot. Follow the next steps to connect the printer to the local Wi-Fi network.
the app displays lots of information where to find the Wi-Fi password. So I enter the network password to connect the printer to the local Wi-Fi. It will take a few minutes until the printer is connected. The printer initialization is still going on, so it will take a few more minutes when the printer setup is complete. The printer setup is complete. Let's put in some paper and do the nozzle check. There is a special combination Turn off the printer and then when turning printer back on hold the stop button and then release. After a few moments a nozzle check pattern will print. The pattern has been printed with information about counter. At this point I'm not connecting the printer to the computer. Finally, I can select which home screen I want to use. As the latest firmware is available, it is recommended to update the printer at this point as well. While the printer is being updated, you can check my video about to how to email print to Ipson EcoTank models in the upper right corner. After firmware update, check the indicators on the printer and now it's ready for my first print from the mobile device. I will print a document from the app. The color print speed is fine and you can find more about printer speeds in the upper right corner of the screen. I do another black and white print and check if the print is water resistant. Which I know already because black ink is dye only and not pigment, so it is not water resistant in this model. So this is not business quality ink. And that would be all in this video.
find more about Ipson printers on my channel, feel free to comment and do not forget to subscribe as it is free and helps me a lot to grow the channel and create more content in the future. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye.